it's me, Barb. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm at Panera. I just met some cookies at Panera. <laughs> you know why I'm here? Because it was my birthday and I could get a free cookie at Panera. It, well, a free, they said a free pastry or something. And, um, and, uh, sorry. And, uh, I know my hair is kind of weird. I just, uh, I, um, it was getting all long and I didn't have time to cut it. So I just like pushed it all back. And then I had some, look at these scissors. They're like a dollar, dollar tree scissors. I was cutting the back of my hair. The things I do, I just, you know, whatever. I don't think I'm going to keep it like this. I was looking at myself going, I think it looks really good. And then I had to, um, go take Daisy for a walk. I stopped at the house and I said, Penny, what do you think of my new hairdo? She goes, oh, it looks nice. Well, she's always going to say that, you all. If you have a smart partner, I'm going to do this for a minute. It's pretty hot out there. Um, they're going to say that. There was one time when, I know, I got to get to the cookies. I know, hang with me. I'll put a timestamp. Will that make you happy? I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, and uh, what was it? Oh, I got my hair cut and it was like this short. And she goes, it looks great. And uh, it, it, I remember another time I was, in this, I was in my 30s and I worked at this camp and um, it was a wilderness um, for um, adjudicated youth. And it wasn't one of those crazy ones. Let me tell you, it was awesome. But um, I didn't know Penny then, but I remember I decided I was going to give myself a perm. I just decided... And I had short hair then. I've had long hair most of my life, but I had gotten short hair and I thought, well, let me try something different. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys. I'm one of those people that cannot have curly hair. <laughs> everyone was so nice. Like, oh, Barbara, you look great. You look great. After it, you know, grew out and everything, everyone was like, oh, Barbara, don't do that again. <laughs> Okay, you all, how y'all doing? I'm so glad to be here and um, we're gonna, we're at Panera and I'm sorry Panera that I haven't been with you more. Um, I would like to um, do some reviews with you all too. Um, so I did do one Panera uh, right in the very beginning when I started my channel, way down, you gotta look. Um, and you, it'll be in the reviews, but it was during Valentine's Day and I got a Valentine sugar cookie. Anyway, um, but the, you know, the food at Panera is good, but it's a little pricey too. Um, but you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes you don't. But anyway, sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Well, today I feel a little fruity. Anyway, anyway, speaking of fruity, lemon. Do I have lemon? I need to get some lemon earrings. I have things to do. I'm gonna have to get myself a job, or I'm gonna have to get somebody. Get some subscribers so I can get a few little pennies so I can uh, wear more fancy earrings. This is my milk and cookies. You've seen that. If you know me. If you don't know me, well, this is how I roll. I do reviews. Certain people think that there's a certain way you're supposed to do them. Listen, it's YouTube. You can do whatever the heck you want without being too mean or too, uh, without being mean or, you know, a little body, which, you know, I don't think that's in my nature to be body. Well, I guess I can kind of end it. Anyway, I diverge. Okay, so here we have, we're gonna, we're gonna find out if this is worth the hype and the price. It's Panera Bread's kitchen sink cookie. Look at how huge that little kissy is. Mm, I gotta tell you how I got this one. And then the lemon drop cookie, and I don't know if they have this one year round. Doesn't that look pretty? Um, as I was saying, it's been my birthday week. <laughs> I don't know when I'll air this, but and I have had the best birthday, um, best birthday week. Um, it all started on Sunday and the fire department threw me a little surprise party from the neighborhood. And then, um, it wasn't a little, it was big. There was a tons of decorations and a beautiful spread and everybody just came in. It was just wonderful. And, um, and uh, Jenny, you know, the one on the crumble that's laughing in the, um, in the little thumbnail, if you look at that one. Um, Jenny's little baby was born, and Betty, I call her Bet. But, oh, I talk to her, and I swear we're kindred spirits, you all. I mean, she will look at me, and she does this little <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, um, so, and the ice cream truck came. It's called Sunshine Sammy's, which Sunshine Sammy's, if you go to Asheville, try that out. It's homemade ice cream with homemade cookies. And um, 
we were all talking, I think it was Beth, and that, you know, with the ice cream at Crumble, that the, they call them Crumble Cream, um, or Cream Crumble, Crumble Cream, I think, um, that they could make ice cream sandwiches in the summer. I guess they get pricey because their, their cookies are pricey. Okay, let's get back to Panera because that's where we are and that's why I'm here. Um, I got this gorgeous piece of, oh, gorgeous piece of, um, of. <laughs> okay, I'll take it out. This is the kitchen sink cookie. I don't know if I want to tell you the details on this or not, because then you'll get discouraged. Listen, there was a time when we never knew the calories, so, you know, it's common sense. If you're going to go to a base, pastry, pastry, a pastry shop or a bakery or whatever, you know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> but this cookie is $4.49. You go, oh my gosh. But then you think about how much crumble is and you go, well, let's see this cookie, all righty. Oh, you all. Oh my goodness. So the reason why I'm, I keep starting to talk about this. Oh, you all. Oh my gosh. Look at this little piece of artwork. This is a masterpiece. Look at that, the sea salt, there's caramel in it and chocolate and I don't know what else. We're gonna find out. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, you know, and it's a different kind of cookie than crumble. Crumble has a lot of soft cookies. This is like crispy, I think, and then soft in the side. Oh, I love it when a cookie smells good and this cookie smells divine. Um, and um, so this cookie, I, you know, I'm so funny. I go get crumble every week, and then I was like, these are too expensive. But it was my birthday, and you could get a free pastry. And the woman said, I said, can I get a cookie instead? And she said, um, well, let me check. And I got the cookie, the kitchen seat cookie for my birthday for free. So you all, if you have an app, go ahead and get the points and put your birthday in it on the profile. If you don't put your birthday in, you won't get it. And you get all sorts of free stuff. And it does, and some of them, like I think Starbucks, you have to get it the day of your birthday. But most, they give you the month or whatever they show you your promo than any time after that till the end of the month. So so this is after my birthday, but um, they still get honored it. So let's take a bite, right? I have to think of a theme song for Panera if I go, oh no, let me break it open. Oh, you all watch this piece of art. Oh, look at that chocolate. Ooh, ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. I don't know where to start. Oh, okay. I might have to take more than one bite because I see some caramel in some places. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay, people. This is what I'm talking. That salt, and I'm not a salt girl. That salt is divine with the dark chocolate. And it reminds me a little titch of like a Toll House cookie. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This cookie is well worth it. It's got caramel in it, you all. Mmm. Mmm. This is like a cookie you get at a bake shop. You know what I mean? I think it's a whole nother level. I really love it. Mmm. It's a 10. It is a 10. Mmm. Again, that salt. I'm not a salt girl, but boy, is it good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. How wonderful. Love it. It's definitely a 10. Uh-huh. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling that sugar going in my oh! I just bumped my I bumped my elbow on my straw from this other container. You ever have those days where you just bump into things all the time? Oh goodness! 
I tell you, I tell you what time. Right now, now I was kind of feeling, you know, when you hit your funny bone, you're like, ah, I kind of have that, but like it, like it's like a bruise one, you know, but, um, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but years ago I worked for, um, Evergreen Landscaping. It's a landscaping company in Asheville. And I think they're, they're still, I think they're still doing it, but, um, um, I think I told you about this, didn't I? About the aerator. They, they poke, take holes out and then I flew from it. Then on my elbow, oh, it was like two weeks. Two weeks and I felt like I had a, um, you know, when you hit your funny bone, you're like, ah, it's like that nonstop for two weeks. Oh, it was bad. But anyway, you know, we live and learn. Um, I think I've told you the story. Oh goodness, you guys. I have so many things to share and I don't know what, and, and I know so many people told me to take, make a list and I make a list, but then I don't remember when I'm talking cause I don't, I'm not going to have a script. Uh, uh mm -mm, that's not what I'm about. We're just talking, chit chatting, chit chatty, laddie, daddy. Okay. Well, I won't finish. I won't tell you all the deets on that one. I think I've already told you about it, but basically it, it, it was an owie. <laughs> um, but um, God, this hair is high. Woo! I might have grown a couple inches. I used to be 5'6", and now I'm 5'4". That, well, I have two discs, or two, yeah, two discs that have, are no longer there. And two, what do you call it, vertebrae, whatever you have fused together, or what, I don't know. Anyway, I did it naturally, but, you know, it was a lot of lying flat on a bed staring at a ceiling. But anyway, um, so I'm getting shorter. So it's not my fault that I that I have weight on me. I just keep getting too short. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was gonna tell you. So yeah, my birthday's been fun, and just you know, some years I don't know about you, but some years for me, you know, I won't hear from anybody. And like I think one year I got like two cards, and um, my aunt always sends me a card, and, and she's just wonderful. She's always been wonderful. Um, both my aunts I've been blessed with. Um, great support and, and wonderful. Um, they just have thought the world of me and, and have um, just had my back all for years. They're wonderful. But anyway, um, what was I going to tell you? Um, oh, my birthday. So um, now that my birthday's over, I still have on Saturday, I'm going to a very good friend, um, best buddy, uh, or I shouldn't say you know, she's a, one of my besties. Um, uh, she's and her husband are making Penny and I dinner and they got a new dog who's adorable that we're going to meet. I've met him, but Penny hasn't. Oh my gosh. He's a, what do you call it? A Bernie doodle, but he's really super calm. Oh, and he's so sweet. He's always happy. He's always sitting there going, <laughs> anyway. And, um, and I think she's got something up her sleeve. And then on Tuesday, Another part of the neighborhood's gonna um, have a party for me and another woman who's born the same year me, same year me, same year as me, but um, two days later. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 her birthday's not, uh, not quite yet. Her birthday's tomorrow. I was like, oh, God, um, she's awesome. Anyway, okay, so let's try the other one, all righty. This is the lemon drop. Now, this isn't as big as that one. Oh, but, but the kitchen sink cookie was $4.49. And I got it for free. Then I thought, oh, I can't just do one cookie, which I should have because I've already spent too much time talking. And they say, just do 10 minute ones and I can't seem to do it. So anyway, um, this is the lemon drop cookie. Look at how pretty that is. And it's $2.79. Let's take a bite, right? Mm. It's nice. Let me break it in half. I thought there might be some lemon inside there. I got in spoil from old crumble. Mmm. I see. I see what's going on, you all. It's a fun cookie. These cookies are nothing to um, put your nose up in the air with, I tell you. If you want a nice cookie, and you could get one of these and divide them and, you know, have it for four kids or whatever, or you and your friend or whoever, your husband. Um, <laughs> you divide and four and give it to your husband. You might have four, three husbands. I don't know. <laughs> a partner, whatever. Anyway, um, it's very light cookie. 
and you think it's really nothing because it's so light, it's so light on the lemon, not sour. But then when you get into it, and the, the outside of the cookie is a little crisp, and then the inside is nice and light. Let me show you. <clears throat> you know, it's nice and, I don't know if you can see, but, um, because <clears throat> the light's funny. But um, well, the surprise is, is that there's little chunks of lemon, not, the fruit lemon, but a lemon like, I don't know if it's kind of like a candy, but it's kind of soft. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I like this cookie, but I've had better lemon cookies. And I don't know if I get it again, but it's not because I don't care for it. So if you like a light lemon cookie and a soft, nice cookie, but a little little crispy on the edges. You're going to love it. I think I'd probably give it a seven, a one out of 10. I always do one out of 10. One, you're sick. Never want to hear her speak of again. 10 is, woo, I want to tell the world I can't stop thinking about it. This I would stop thinking about. Not that it's bad. <clears throat> it's definitely not a six. I can't even stretch it to an eight. So it's a true seven. But this little, this, ba this potato, in potato. This cookie is cookie city. This kitchen sink cookie is, I think, well worth it. It's very different from crumble, um, but it's, um, mm, mm, I just got a, a bite of that caramel and dark chocolate and the salt. Oh, you guys got to try this. It's a completely different cookie than what crumble usually does. It feels very homemade, but professional like a bakery one last bite mm -hmm. the deal with this kitchen sink cookie is they have figured out the balance of everything it's perfection it is a beautiful cookie beautiful 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 boy what is that musical from beautiful 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 I can't sing anymore, but I can't remember that. It's a really pretty song. There's so many beautiful songs. Not enough time to hear every beautiful song there is. Isn't that something? There's so many songs I love. I was trying to think of one just to start singing, and I just like went blank because I was staring at the trees in front of me. There's all these trees in front of me. I'm at like the edge of a parking lot this area used to be a cinema and um oh we went there all the time and then they tore it down we're like oh no but they've really done a nice job here we have um several restaurants in this little this little it's a it's a <laughs> i can't talk this is like above the it's not above the road but it's above another shopping center but um it's across from the Asheville mall anyway I'll come back and review some food and I'm going to tell you one other thing before I go is that you know if you go to a playlist so you see videos on someone's channel and then you see playlists go to that and then they'll have things broken down for you of what kind of videos you want to watch well my playlist of reviews is like 75 videos <laughs> they recommend like 10 or 15 I think they recommend 10 or 15 I can't remember some say 7 some say 15 anyway Mine is 75. So I'm going to try to break those down for you. So I might do one on sweets and one on, I don't know, fast food or whatever. I'll figure it out. But, um, and then, because I think like, uh, I think Beth, you out there, you were telling me that you like the reviews on candy. So I thought, well, I'm going to group those all together. Because you go on those reviews, it's going to take forever. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just having a good time. I hope you are. I hope you're well. And if you're not well, you hang on and try to breathe, ride the wave and know that there's going to be a better day. It may not be tomorrow, but it's a coming. That's what I like to think. Hey, be nice to yourselves, you all. And thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And thanks for those beautiful comments. And oh, subscribe. It's free. And press like if you like it. If you don't, that's okay. Um, I still like you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, it didn't turn off. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs>